Season 3, episode 17, I forget what the episode's called, Sing or something like that, of Supergirl. Sorry, of The Flash, with Supergirl guest starring. So the beginning of the episode, they preview showing that Wally West was knocked out by Savitar, replaced by Savitar in the Speed Force, etc. That was pretty epic. So you see that Savitar has a plan and that everything's planned out. And Savitar's always ahead, just like Harrison Walls was in the first episode, first season, and Hunter Solomon was in the second season. They're always ahead, the VC villains. Barry's never ahead. Someday he will be in one season. So anyways, Kara is captured in her show, aka Central City, not Central City, the wherever the city the Supergirl takes place in. Star Labs prisoner, I forgot his name, but I think he was a mix of Plick. Zapster, and then Miles trying to figure out what's going on. Flash crew trying to figure out how to save her. Her mind's gone into this separate universe or something. Coma universe. Much like in Star Trek episodes. We're trying to figure out what's going on. Just like the episode where. It could be like a holodeck episode in Star Trek. It could be like. Well, it wasn't, but it's basically set up that way, production-wise. And it's also sort of like that episode that won an Emmy for Star Trek The Next Generation. When, or well, it wasn't that one, but it was similar to it, where the car's calling his past or having a different life. Those type of situations where the car's... Doing a life thing opposed to a space thing. Which really dramas and sci-fi. Or at least concentrates on the dramas and the sci-fi. And then. Carl figures out. Has to do a singing contest in the universe. Before she survives the universe. Comes back and awake. The Flash goes to save her. And they go through the singing contest. Like the 19... Early than the 1960s, I'm not sure what exact decade it was, but it's like 1900s to 1960s. Like a classical Reed Drum, the Red Room, Dave Lynch style area. Classic American stuff. Maybe Great Depression era, not too sure. I rambled enough. This is pretty in incoherent. But there really wasn't much to say, but anyways, I might as well have made it complicated. They sing. They had fun. I hope everyone enjoyed. They did. Well, they did, instead of surprising everybody, which is pretty much impossible in the internet era, what they did do well, though, was announce it to everybody. And then everyone cheered. Because, like, you know, te television geeks, American television geeks, they love a singing episode. There was one zero. I don't know if that was praised to Power Rangers fans at the time. But... Well, you know, it, the fans were looking forward to it. At least the, I was looking forward to it after the actors played it up as something very enjoyable. I know it was very enjoyable, but it's a good filler episode. Something different, at least. And you can't go wrong with that. Always good to take a risk. Hope you guys enjoyed.